Well, welcome everybody. Um, whether you're watching this live or you're watching it as a pre-recorded session. Our speaker today is Katrina Alelovich um, from the Mount Lawley uh, Counselling Centre. Uh, Katrina is a counselling psychologist with 25 years plus experience supporting people dealing with trauma, grief and loss, relationship difficulties, anxiety and burnout. Hi, thanks Bronwyn. Uh, thanks Paula and hello to everyone here. Um, I'm very pleased to be with you and have an opportunity to uh, talk about uh, imposter syndrome and how it shows up for lawyers specifically. So we'll talk a little bit about um, what it is. We'll talk about um, the different types of imposter syndrome, the consequences of not dealing with it, um, how to manage and reduce its impact on you. And um, I wanted to... Um, give you a little bit of a model and it may not be entirely um, new but to recognize that the experience of imposter syndrome um, is a combination of your thoughts feelings and behaviors and that uh, you say for example you know you have a a, a thought um, and typically that will be accompanied by some kind of emotion so somebody's ask you to uh, give some advice or perhaps they've asked you to take a client meeting and typically uh, you might have a colleague with you but in this instance you're going to be on your own and uh, you might be having a, a, a thought well what if I what if I get asked a question and I don't know the answer uh, and that uh, triggers a uh, that that imposter syndrome type of um, I, I have to um, know it all in order to feel like I'm a competent lawyer.